This is probably my most requested video ever. A lot of people really wanted to see me try animating in Flip a Clip. A little background here. I have actually tried Flip a Clip before, many, many years ago. Back then I decided after trying it for a bit that it was too frustrating to use. At the time I was using a computer mouse and GIMP and Windows Movie Maker to animate on my parents' computer. Neither of these programs are designed for animation. You could even argue that GIMP isn't even designed for drawing, yet I preferred the combination of those two programs over using Flip a Clip, which is specifically designed for animation. But that was many years ago. So how about now? Look at the size of this phone. <laughs> Back in my day, the screen of my phone was this small and it was like 64 pixels or something. Like, wh what is this? This this doesn't even properly fit into my stupid woman pockets. What's happening? I'm. I'm having some trouble like drawing with the uh, with my finger because I can't see what I'm drawing. This is a problem for me, so I stole a pen from my brother so that I can actually draw like a person. Thank you very much. Uh, it's still not perfect, but it's like, you know, it's doable. This is fine. Ah! Why are these ads so long? So. Can you animate in Flip a Clip? Yes. But it lacks a lot of the features that I personally prefer to use when I animate, and a lot of other features are behind a paywall. I think at this point I should probably just give a quick reminder that I have never gone to art school, taken art classes, online courses, anything like that on animation. Jaden Animation said in one of her videos that she learned to animate by looking up on YouTube how to animate and then following the tutorials. I literally just went, ah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Nowadays I use Viral Packard to draw my frames and then put them together in Movie Studio Platinum 13, which means that some of my methods of working are probably a little unconventional. For example, I like making these really thick lines for my line art, but when you don't have pen pressure, which I didn't in Flip a Clip, thick lines suddenly look really bad, so I had to go for really thin lines, kind of like when I was animating using a mouse. A lot of people don't like to use pen pressure when animating, so for them I don't think this would have been a problem. Another thing that I found a little frustrating was that Either the Flip a Clip app was a little laggy, which could also, of course, be a problem on my end, or it has some sort of an automatic stabilizer that you can't turn off, and again, a lot of people like it when their lines get stabilized a little bit. I personally don't. It's stabilizing the lines, and I, I don't want that. Now, Flip a Clip has a lot of features that are behind a paywall, such as getting more layers and being able to add music to your project. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having some features of a program behind a paywall, but you know, personally, when I pay for something, I would like for it to be good, and you know, if the rest of the program isn't good, then why would I pay for a couple of extra features, you know? I ended up not paying for anything. I probably would have paid to customize the onion settings if I had read through the premium features carefully enough to notice, but alas, I did not. And frankly, I think being able to customize the onion skin is such a basic feature that it should not be behind a paywall. I don't care how cheap. Yeah, so in the end, I didn't pay for any of the premium features, just like out of spite. Personally, in the end, I didn't really mind the ads. They were infrequent enough that once I stopped accidentally exiting the project every two minutes, they didn't really bother me as much, except for a couple of ads that just wouldn't close. Like, I just, I could never close the ad even, even when the ad was done and I had to restart the app. The app would also crash sometimes, not often, but at one point it kept crashing every time I opened the project and I started freaking out because I thought that what if I just somehow corrupted the project and all my work has gone to waste. Luckily, after the app crashing four times in a row every time I opened the project, it just magically never crashed again. 
<laughs> not sure what happened there. I was able to get around to not being able to see anything but the previously drawn frame by copying the other frame I wanted to see onto a different layer and then making that layer transparent. But it took me a while to figure out that I could do that. It took me a while to figure out a lot of things. To kind of illustrate that, this is the first bit of animation that I made, and then this is one of the last ones. I did sort of learn to use the app better towards the end, and then it was faster and much less frustrating. I can understand how someone might like using this app, especially if they do not have access to their parents' computer like I did as a kid. But at the same time, I think I would definitely still pick GIMP and Windows Movie Maker over animating in Flip a Clip. There were a lot of problems that I had, such as the fact that whenever you selected and moved something, the undo option would just stop working for some reason. The tools that Flip a Clip offers you are very limited. I especially missed the magic wand tool, when at one point I realized that I had accidentally colored the background of a frame white, and the only way for me to get rid of that was to redraw the frame. <laughs> it wasn't a ton of work, but little setbacks like that start to get increasingly annoying the more they pile up. I added the music to my animation in my usual editing program. I sort of made two versions of this animation, one in which I pretty much only added the music and left everything else as it was, and then another version in which I also used my editing program too. Got a little bit of camera movement and the sort, since camera movement is pretty difficult to do in Flip a Clip. <laughs> I decided to do the Hey meme since I already had the song downloaded to my computer, and following the tradition of the Animal Cannibal AMV, I animated Tiger Star Warrior Cats tormenting yet another poor kitty cat. Again, can you animate in Flip a Clip? Yes. Would I recommend Flip a Clip?